hello in this tutorial I will share with you about how to make a spring uh, application in Java and how to deploy it to uh, docker okay so let's start by opening uh, spring.io in Google Chrome on your web browser and yeah in this lesson we will uh, create a new project uh, Java Spring Boot project or Java Spring MVC project but for simplify we only focus on the back end and how to write uh, the API in uh, Java Spring so we access to Spring Boot with creating Spring Initializer uh, the group is access to your uh, company ID and your uh, application name. The description may be the Spring Boot uh, used with Docker. Okay. Uh, package in the uh, Jar or Web or Ship or oh, use Jar. And the Java platform here is uh, GDK 11 and process you can add uh, some more package to your development maybe spring web maybe a gpa mysql driver including mysql connection uh, spring data gpa or java persistent api okay uh, spring and uh, more dependency so uh, the, the format may be Maven project or Rattle project. It is okay now. Then we generate the application output. So it's so in Finder. I unzip, uh, achieve, yes, to unzip this and remove a necessary file. So we will work in this application and the boilerplate uh, application as a main file some configuration and we can open this with uh, IntelliJ idea okay we rename this to Java docker example yes as easy as you can now open terminal and CD to change directory to Java docker sample so this is my current directory Java docker sample so let's install the GDK uh, in Windows or Mac OS. In Windows, you download the MSI installer. In Windows, you download the DMZ or Mac OS installer. Okay, so uh, accept, download. Okay, very easy to understand. And log into your account. You can create the the account in Oracle very easy and then next next to install uh, the GDK Java development kit in your operating system okay. here it is in Mac OS so build your spring project with Marvin wrapper uh, MVN uh, W mean Maven wrapper, so you can run by typing this MVN Spring Boot dot run. It's a common line to run a, a Spring Boot project, and you can download the dependency, build the project, and start this project. And using MVN wrapper, yes. In Windows, you can use this command mb and w the palm.xml contain definition for the package including package name and version okay so we have my secret connector java and the version we have a spring framework and version etc so after running this we can see the output okay something wrong with my project because we we must have 
the definition for MySQL connector. So let's open in IntelliJ IDEA C mean Calc Community Edition. You can install the developer version but not necessary. Early uh, community is enough for you to develop this. Open the specific project Java Docker example and then press open and choose choose project yes choose project okay and press okay to allow access to your photos your cameras okay so this is a, the main class uh, docker except for exception, exception main class the main class has uh, the main function and I run okay so the problem here is that you have to define a URL to connect with uh, GPA in uh, MySQL. So to fix this, you must define a property, um, a property file. So application property. As inside the application property, we have connection string. We have a database URL, we have a username, a password to connect to the database. And the database here is inside Docker. So we have a Docker to database Docker. Yes, and the port here is a port to connect to the uh, to your Spring application. And here is a database uh, inside the Docker MySQL or inside your SAM, yes, inside your MySQL database in localhost or in server in VPS, etc. Yes, so command S. Remember to add the application dot property inside the resource resources folder. Put this inside the resources folder. So application.json prompted XML uh, and then we check for some requirements some required library you can uncomment this okay comment now this uh, Spring Boot starter data GPA or Java Persistent API. So in application property uh, here we comment out this because maybe it is not uh, not necessary at this time because we need to define my SQL container. We must define connection string. It's so long. Okay. Yes. It start okay. Uh, by removing database and removing my SQL. Uh, Java persisted API so now I review the project by Maven wrapper again okay so start the docker example in this port and this is tomcat started port okay come on see so open IntelliJ ID again and uh, change the port so the part here is the part to connect uh, to your Java Spring Boot application yes we also have a Java Spring Boot application so quite detailed you can see yes okay so access to the root router uh, from the web browser we see the status not found why uh, we must run again package we define a package name controller so we must define router router mean controller inside the controller we define many uh, methods to interact with the data inside the Java Spring application so we define a, a controller name student controller and we specify the 
uh, annotation that this is a controller this is a spring boot controller by adding add controller we can define it as uh, so the, the second line may be request yes request mapping to map a router to this controller so the part here may be uh, students okay student means the part of the router to the to the controller so inside student controller we define a method name hello yes. uh, without any parameter without no parameters and the parameter uh, can be put together into an object name model map okay so this will return a string name hello okay hello world return a string name a string hello world you must specify the function as a request function a request function may is a function that uh do something when uh, a request sent from the client so when client send a request with uh, part like student does hello with method get get method so the uh, the function hello is executed yes the function hello now is ex executed and return hello world return a string okay yes so review the project again by typing maven wrapper again yes so run again by dash uh, students dash okay hello mm so controller here you can change to rest controller rest controller is used for java spring boot and controller is used for uh, spring mvc yes okay so run again you had a few seconds yes and the program started docker docker example application and then okay so now I can see the output as a string and student controller hello okay so the request here is uh, localhost means your uh, host IP address the port to your host and then the router or the request mapping and uh, hello is a function or request mapping by a function in uh, request method get okay so how we can run this on docker you can this on docker you must have container you must have image you must start uh, view your image in docker file you must put your image to your old docker hub you can pull and stand and uh, start and run a container inside your docker uh, from your docker image yes when you change uh, the docker file then the image is rebuilt okay so inside the java docker example you create a new file name docker file yes docker file yes the docker file has no extension the first line define the syntax format and uh, the docker file will be compatible with previous version of docker file uh, but in this example we only concerning with uh, we only concern with the latest version uh, so which official java image let google search to sell to 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 search for the java docker image uh, firstly, you need to open GDK or open Java Development Kit. Uh, yes, various tag. Uh, this must be official image from Oracle. 
we have a various type so we can docker pool a specific version let's copy the, the, the image name and uh, tag here let's copy the image so the first line here is from image how this container build from the image so the first line is image name the second is working directory working directory means the working the, the directory we contain your code inside the container yes. this car containing your code and this is inside your container inside your uh, Java Spring Docker containers uh, the third line we define we, we can copy some of the of the very important file to the image to the docker image uh, some very important file must be copied to so first copy for copy for uh, your mvm to nvn copy your uh, mvn wrapper pom dot xml to the current folder or the working directory or the, the, the folder in working directory yes so copy this code line to uh, just copy some of file to the image and run this uh, run this command inside the image uh, firstly we run mvn go dependency to build all every uh, dependencies or library inside the Z image yes. okay and you copy the source file the source folder from your current folder to the image yes and then we have to build and run each container start after starting container yes the command here is uh, run inside the container the, the the 13 line the line 13 means the command must be run in the container so we define a docker image uh, docker ignore docker ignore is a, is a file we contain some bypass or some ignore file it must not be push to the docker hub so let uh, save a refine name in docker ignore a re ignore file yes so google search very uh, very easy to go search so search for docker image java uh, and uh, docker image spring boot so we paste to here yes very easy to yes so this file uh, must not be copied to the image or copy to container is not necessary so now we want to build uh, the spring boot docker the build the image how to build this image we uh, build the image and specify the, the version the version here is spring boot dash docker and dot mean the current folder we contain the copy the docker file the current folder we contain the docker file so you docker build that's a tag okay so docker builds uh docker file here so you can run the docker build here okay yes uh let's wait a few seconds a few minutes maybe because uh this step requires you to run a command inside the docker file to pull the image uh, then to copy file to define the working directory to view uh, to to download the library apply to the image okay etc then 
then we can run this container from this image okay yes uh, this is a process of uh, downloading dependency the dependency is saved on palm.xml it download file from the git repository depending on the name the file uh, the dependency name in the palm.xml okay so finish uh, so every line here no arrow here good very good no arrow here and this is so clear and then we docker image list to list every docker image inside in your uh, pc or in your host so the image id here is here so you must change you can change the the version name from Spring Boot Docker to Spring Boot Docker v1.0.0.0 .0 okay v1.0.0 we change the the name the image name from Spring Boot Docker to Spring Boot Docker specify the version the second step here you can change uh, this version or this tag to um, to a tag of your online repository so let's log into docker hub account create a repository online uh, so let's use the same name as here so copy this name open web browser log into your account docker hub uh, access create new repository let's make uh, the repository public because we must we want to set to everyone for learning purpose okay so create yes create a sub specific uh, okay create and then we okay good uh then we rename we we change the name of spring boot docker v1 uh, dot zero dot zero to sunlight 4d dash uh, spring boot docker etc yes we change again so let's click to uh, this so your account is very important because uh, when you work with a team you can share uh, you can share your repository to other member so change the name and then docker image to check now the image uh, sunlight 4d spring boot docker here yes has been created okay good uh, then you want to push the docker hub to your uh, docker repository by docker push so let's copy this line and docker push okay docker push sunlight 4d yes okay so docker locks in to uh, look into your account again from terminal enter your username and password for docker hub and wait a few seconds yes you pay uh so you press docker push okay so it will push layers by layers to the repository push your image to the repository more from open gdk more from library open gdk to access to the java development kit okay so every line here has been running and creating okay uh, mount from DK okay good it takes time depending on the network um, status your network velocity network speed okay so refresh yes I can see the spring boot here we want a few seconds ago has been pushed 
it show you about the time to push yes okay so let's open terminal and docker ps that's a to show every all um, docker containers yes so we have two container one for mysql flash uh, okay we have some 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 container but now i want to create the container for java spring so the docker image to save every image inside the docker inside your host okay so we have uh, sunlight 4d spring boot docker version 1.0.0 with a specific image ID okay so docker remove image to remove the image with the specific and add force dash F to remove force yes. so delete and then clear screen and then docker this image yes. to show every image okay then push your old image to docker hub by typing docker push yes now we want to run uh, start a container from the push image your old image so now let copy the name copy the image uh, tag or the version and paste to here uh, we run the docker in uh, detach mode with the port uh, 8085 and 8083 mapping to the port inside the, the, the container okay so the port inside the container and the port inside your your uh, container and spot is inside your host yes so this is map port map port okay so that's v mean map the volume from the personal working directory to the working directory just app okay that's app so the spring boot docker is image name and v 1.0.0 is the tag name so copy this and paste to here by clear yes uh, so now cannot see uh, spring boot oh something wrong let's copy and paste again spring boot docker container is the container name and um, does v mean map volume uh, run dp mean run in detach mode with the port mapping okay so you stock a container so copy from line 21 to line 24 copy and paste to here enter okay so we see the return id of the container to see every container to list the container by list a to see every file inside we have a mvn we have a maven wrapper yes it is wood it is enough we have s r c or the source folder is wood is all we need so now test preboot application by accessing this request from your web browser okay so access localhost with the port okay okay so access hello world good so the output uh, display hello world then the get request is successfully sent from your client you can see url you can also send this by open terminal using cuir okay the output is also hello world this is very good uh, you can also use postman you can use postwoman okay good it is to 
uh, for sending requests from client to server you can send post request get request put request etc so docker ps to show the container name and now i see docker log spring boot okay so complete initialization it is initialized and run yes so what about the database you can define the connection string uh, uh, with uh, how to connect to mysql from from uh, your spring boot using uh, java pers persistent api or gpa so firstly you change the uh, uh, the request to return a string hello world how are you for example and then you send request uh, by uh, restarting the container update code uh, you cannot leave update your code because it does not support uh, watch in java so you have to restart the docker container but the code is remain the code uh, is updated from your host yes don't worry the code is in the personal working, working directory and update you do not worry don't be worry okay and uh, after that you run the command inside the container so you do not have to review your image again not necessary so clear so docker restart to restart the container again and then we open yes hello world how are you yes okay so when you change code you restart the container again and it is enough yes it is very good when your uh, your code is leave update you want to update and run in a specific environment yes and this is very useful with docker and docker container so now you want to create another mysql container and push this which is the same network with spring boot docker container then how to to make uh, the mysql container like this so you must uh have to define a mysql spring boot data you must define some environment part like mysql user mysql root password and the network yes you define a volume uh, two volume uh, one volume for configuration one volume for mysql database okay we have two volume yes let's change this to fc mysql config dot d d mean diamond diamond mean service okay the name the container name mysql spring boot container and uh, the network is spring boot app network so two container are put on together and set and uh, put together to in the same network spring boot app network and the port here is three three uh, one zero or the host port yeah, some environment part may be mysql password mysql database okay yes so we run docker file with some uh, specific environment variable and uh, okay good maybe it is enough for your uh, environment variable yes mysql user password root database okay good and mysql version is 8.0.28 is the image name and image uh, version yes line 8 uh, line 38 to 48 is to create container uh, mysql sp container for 
your Java Spring Boot. Yes, so let's copy this and paste to here. Okay, so press enter, copy. Uh, let's copy again and uh, open terminal, paste to here. Yes, error response network Spring Boot not found. So uh, you must define a network for two of these containers. So Docker network create is a command to create a new network. So Docker network, it returns a network ID. So Docker network list uh, to list every network inside your host. Okay, so we have a Spring Boot app network. Here is every network in your host. Yes, some default network and some custom network you have just created. Yes, network is very important because it connects us uh, one, two, and many container, and you can create multiple containers inside a network. So Docker run. Okay, again. Yes, so clear. So let Docker PS again to uh, my secure uh, Spring Boot container. Yes. Yes, we have Spring Boot Docker container. Good. Uh, and then now we define uh, TCP. Okay, good. So we we can see the Spring Boot Docker container here. So let remove this container by Docker IM F to remove the container. Yes. So that's uh, that network the Spring Boot app network. Yes. So you must specify the network for uh, when you start the Spring Boot Docker container by adding a dash dash network. The paste here to uh, run the container again. Run the Spring Boot Docker container again. And Docker PS. Okay. Yes. You can see the MySQL and uh, the Docker network and the uh, uh, Spring Boot container is running here so let's connect to the database inside your your spring root container by removing this line let uh, uncomment this including uh, java spring boot starter gpa or java persistent api and uh, my single connect to java yes Okay, let's remove this. Okay, uncomment this because we need to connect to the database from your Spring Boot. So let's change the connection string to okay. So let's uh, copy the port. Yes, you can copy the port. Yes, the port, the container port, and then the uh, student management as uh, student management maybe the database name okay let's copy the root password it's important very important yes okay paste to here and then we uh, access mysql command line from container by execute yes let execute uh, the MySQL dot u dot root by using Docker exec ti mean interactive mode terminal interactive mode. So you uh, access a common line MySQL dot u root um, from the container. Okay, and paste to here. Enter your password. You copy the uh, root password of. MySQL 
paste to here okay and so database to scroll every database and then you copy the database name switch to this database user student management and switch